Hi there, this is Captain Frank calling from Captain Frank's Fishing Charters. Just want to see if we can get you into musky fishing. How to do it, what to do, what equipment you need. Yeah. First off, it isn't difficult to catching muskies if you have the right equipment. Right lures, place them in the right place, and fish where the fish are at. And since they're top of the food chain, they have no predators, so uh, you're gonna find them eating anything and everything that you can put in the water. That means your lures have to look somewhat like what they're used to eating. Muskies can run as high as 67 pounds. That's the current world's record. And there is considered to be about 160,000 muskies in Lake St. Clair. It's the biggest fishery in the world for muskie fishing. And of course, we do catch and release. So we're not killing them off. If we get a trophy, we measure it, just take pictures and release them. I got them. Big boy. Oh yeah, nice catch, Dave. Wow. Nice catch. All right. This is, oh, I, he's kicking. Oh yeah, baby. Oh uh, yeah, Nashville doesn't have fish like this. I get the net. Get the net. Get forward a little bit. I'm sorry. Inside. Try to grab me with close. Let's talk about equipment. First off, I use all Shakespeare custom ugly sticks. These are the same rods that I use down in Key West and saltwater fishing. Nice and short, five foot six inches, gives a lot of fight, and yet it's capable of handling most any big fish. One of the most important parts of uh, a fishing rod, of course, is the reel. Uh, we use a uh, Shakespeare Tidewater with a line counter on it. Purpose of the line counter is that I can instruct my anglers how far to let the base out before we snap them into the planer boards. And uh, I use all Cortland Sonic Braid, which is done abrasive. This is 80 pound test. Because of its thinness, we can load 300 yards on this reel, giving us enough capacity to fight most any muskie today that comes out of this lake and it just about disappears in the water. It comes in several different colors. I prefer the light blue. It's easy for us to see it when we're working with lines and you're gonna find out that you're gonna be able to troll if you're very careful, at least two lines per angler. So if you have four anglers, you'll be trolling eight lines. You might even have a stinger line right down the middle going back maybe 125 feet. So what we do is we load the Cortland Sonic Braid we attach it to a swivel. And this is the same place that we attach our leader. Also, we add weight here, anywhere from one ounce, two ounce, three ounce, four ounce, depending on how deep we want our lure to run. The other option you can do is when you uh, have your leader, I usually like to anywhere between six and nine feet leader. I use my little snippet here, and I can tie the leader directly to the lure or to a swivel snap. Some uh, anglers feel the swivel snap detours from the action of the lure, so we can tie it directly to the lure itself. Mm -hmm.